Hey, Andre, I don't know if you've seen this latest video that's breaking the internet, but it is mind boggling. It is a Tesla Model Y towing a 53 foot reefer trailer. Yes, I have seen this and I analyzed it and I called my friends in the trucking industry. So in this video, we're gonna give you the details, but we're mainly gonna focus on how do you get a Tesla Model Y to tow a 53 foot <laughs> semi semi trailer yes. reefer trailer uh, and we're going to define things like tongue weight we're going to define things like reefer trailer because <laughs> it's not what you think um, and andre called uh, his friends in the industry he also has a cdl to yes. explain how you go about doing this but let me just give you the details that we know our friends at the drive uh, posted a story and basically what happened um in Har, is it Harlingen, Texas? Harlingen. Harlingen, Texas, yeah. Uh, somebody hooked up a Tesla Model Y to this trailer. It was first spotted near the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, <laughs> and then later, it was spotted uh, at the Valero uh, in Palm Valley, Texas, where the Texas Department of Public Safety uh, called Capital Towing uh, to go pick it up. Yes, and they eventually recovered this vehicle, and the driver was no longer with the vehicle. Yeah, so while the details are still unclear, the actual mechanism of how you would go about doing this is potentially clear. So in this video, we're going to show you and we're going to tell you how you would go about doing this. We don't recommend you doing it, but it is possible. Yeah, no, no, we don't recommend this. <laughs> no, don't, no don't do please this. don't do this. So the first question uh, that I'd like to answer is what is a reefer trailer? Um, you can kind of see the image behind us. So the reefer trailer is actually refrigeration trailer, right? Yep. Usually used for moving produce, you know, something you need to cool down or you know, just meat products, anything like that. Uh, the door on this uh, refrigeration unit uh, on the front of this trailer is open, so maybe it was broken. Maybe this trailer was actually not functioning. Yeah, and we do know that uh, it was empty, so there was nothing in the trailer. Yes, and I spoke to my friend Dan Atkinson. He's a full-time truck driver, yep. over the road, long haul, yep. and uh, he gave me a few details as well. Uh, and according to Dan, okay. This empty trailer could weigh upwards of 15,000 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of weight. Yes. And what is the Tesla Model Y, what's its ability <laughs> to tow? How much can it tow, Andre? So the rating, I looked it up yeah. to make double check, because we recently had a Model Y. Yes. Uh, you could see it on alttfl.com. Yes. Uh, 3,500 pounds. So uh, it is rated to 3,500, but yes. yet it is towing 15, maybe even more than that. Now, uh, let me ask you this, and this is where it gets interesting. Um, how do air brakes work in a professional trailer like that? Because yes. they're set up in such a way that if you unhook it from the tractor or the semi-truck, it locks the brakes. Yeah, exactly. So semi-trucks, uh, big rigs, yep. use air brakes. Um, and this works because the engine on the semi-tractor has an air compressor. So the way the brakes work, and this is a safety mechanism, there is a large spring um, that's pushing against this a brake, and when you add air to it, it pushes against the spring, releasing the brakes. So basically, you're saying its natural state is, is locked, is locked, not yes. unlocked. Right. Unlike so, a, unlike a car. Right. If it's in neutral, it would roll. Right. But it, a trailer is just locked. Yeah, it's a safety mechanism, right. right? Because you don't want a giant truck or trailer or both to roll away on you, right? So the natural state of a truck or trailer is those a spring is holding the brake closed, so it's locked. And a Tesla Model Y, Model y does not have an air compressor <laughs> big enough to no, unlock those. So, no. So how do you get past that first problem? So, and I spoke to Dan about this again. Uh -huh. So there's something, so first of all, you can apply pressure. So yep. you can bring an air compressor and you can apply pressure. Um, you can hook up those glad hands, they call it. And But this is not what's happening here. You could use carriage, uh, cage bolts. So basically you can insert a bolt and actually push against the spring releasing the spring and releasing the brakes. Okay, so uh, obviously somebody did that, otherwise you know, you, you couldn't move it because yeah. the brakes would be on. Now the second problem is um, obviously the trailer is set up to be hooked up via a fifth wheel mechanism, right? Yes. Uh, to a tractor or a semi truck. Yes. A and this is not something that a Tesla, <laughs> I mean, you, can, you can't put this big <laughs> piece of metal through the Tesla. No, and also the Cybertruck doesn't have that either. No, no, As no. far as I know, the Cybertruck won't even do a fifth wheel or a glue yeah, snack. Yeah, you need, you need a heavy duty truck. So a, a dolly is used for this. Okay, so, so tell me about the dolly. Uh, but the dolly we're talking about is the front wheels you could see on this trailer. Okay. Basically, companies like UPS and others, FedEx and any number of um, shipping companies 
sometimes pull double trailers or even triple trailers, right? Sure. You've seen this on the yeah, highway. Yeah, double triples. They, they usually wiggle a little bit. A little bit way, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this dolly is basically just two wheels, and it's got the fifth wheel mechanism on top of it, so you can roll it underneath a trailer. It locks in as if, a, if it, as if it was a truck. So the dolly is actually holding majority of this weight, of the trailer weight. And then it has a tongue that sticks out, and there's a pintle hitch that goes forward to the towing vehicle. Yeah, let's talk about the pintle hitch. Now, most of you who tow are familiar with, you know, the ball and regular hitch, right? Whereas yes. there's a ball. Actually, do you have one of those? Can we show it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought we. I thought you brought one in here. Oh, okay. There's a regular hitch, Roman. All right, here's a regular hitch. Uh, so let, let's show how this works. So this, this goes into the hitch receiver, and then what happens here? Just a regular... A tongue goes over it and locks in place. Now that doesn't seem like uh, you know sufficient to tow fifteen thousand pounds or eighty thousand or fifty thousand pounds <laughs> yeah. that these guys tow, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the pendle hitch is actually a, a ring. It's like two rings. That yeah, are, two it, rings that attach basically. Okay. And so this is what they did. How do you how do you attach the pendle to the te Tesla? Well, they're using it. So we have a close up thanks to our friends at the drive, uh -huh. right? Uh, that have a close up image of this Tesla. So it's basically, yeah, basically two rings attaching like this. And I haven't actually seen a hitch like this before. Um, it's kind of strange. We use Gen Y hitches, yep. so we actually can tow pintle trailers. But this is, somebody knew what they were doing. First of all, how do you get a dolly? How do you get a trailer? <laughs> and how do you hook this up? Somebody knew what they were doing. Now, um, the other question that I would ask is, uh, how about tongue weight, Andre? Tongue weight, you want to explain tongue weight, and yeah. you want to explain how it's used in traditional training, tra trailering. Yeah, so usually when you're pulling a bumper pull, just a traditional trailer, it's yes. called bumper pull, 10% uh, of the trailer weight is actually pushing on the vehicle. So in this case, 15,000 pounds, so you'd have... Uh, 1,500 pounds, pounds. Which would compress that Tesla quite a bit. To the ground. Yeah. It would push it all the way to the ground. It probably would overload the, tr the Tesla already by itself. But in this case, the dolly is maintaining most of that weight, right? And just that arm, just that arm of the dolly um, is actually pushing on the Tesla. I don't know with how much force, but probably a couple hundred pounds, maybe 300 pounds. So we don't have an issue with too much weight being put on the No, and you can see the Tesla is actually pretty level, yeah, right? Yeah. So you could see it kind of rolling. You have that Carolina squat where the lights are shining into the sky. Right. All right, so that takes care of that. Now, how about... The lights, do they actually hook up the lights? Can we see, right? Because uh, you, you have to have turn signals, you have to have like, uh, does, no, does no, that, I, is that a regular seven pin you, connector? You know, I don't think this Tesla even has a brake controller. Okay. <laughs> so I don't think any lights are hooked up or anything is working like that. So, so completely legal, so, obviously. Yeah, and I, I think that's why the Bureau of Sa Public Safety in Texas actually got involved because this was a safety concern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you think? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, finally, let's talk about some videos in the past that we've done. Uh, if you recall, we did a video where we had a smart car and we had to pull a number of trucks. Yeah. Uh, I think something similar is going on here, right? It, it, because you don't have any tongue weight, it doesn't take a lot to get that trailer moving. And once it's moving, it's pretty easy. It's like that strongman competition, right? Once you get the the when bus moving. When, when the guy's pulling the bus, then it, then it keeps on moving. And so we did this to prove the same thing with a smart car. I believe this was like four years ago now. Yeah. And we hooked up to a whole bunch of uh, trucks. And this little tiny smart car pulled you know, a row of trucks, and it wasn't a problem. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of just applying the torque initially, right? So uh, you have to have some traction. Of course, Model Y could be an all-wheel drive. Yes. So it has a, a lot of traction, a lot of electric torque. So actually get something moving like this is relatively easy. What would be really, really hard and dangerous, Roman, if he was towing at high speed. Or going down right. the Ike. <laughs> yeah, or having no brakes, yeah. right? So that would be really dangerous. But I think uh, whoever was driving was trying to move it locally somewhere. I don't know why they were doing this. I take it those, uh, those brakes aren't surge brakes, like a, like a boat trailer. Surge no. brake, basically, if it pushes against the car, then the brakes are activated. Uh, but with that, you'd have air brakes, so you'd have to have a, a, a tractor or a semi truck to actually make those brakes. Actuating it, yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. So, so, yeah, this was not safe, but at least they were not moving at fast speed. So, it seems like whoever did this knew what they were doing. Yeah. You know, this is not somebody that just you know, decided that they just willy nilly <laughs> needed to help their friend move their apartment <laughs> for a box of pizza <laughs> and said, hey, I've got a Model Y, I've got a reefer, let's yeah. go do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, somebody knew what they were doing, but it's still dangerous. Um, I, I think maybe they were trying to repair their trailer. I don't, I don't know what they were doing. Well, we want to uh, thank all of you who posted these videos, and thank you for Capital Towing. They put these great pictures out there. Uh, it is quite the story, uh, quite the holiday <laughs> a news story before yes. you know the Christmas break. And uh, please, even if you have a Cybertruck, don't try this at home. Yeah, Cybertruck is ready to tow 11,000 pounds, so please just <laughs> use it wisely. <laughs> See you guys next time. Ciao.